Let's start Cognito OAuth flow integration with uh, React single page application without backend. So let's go to Cognito and uh, create a new user pool and application type we want uh, public client with uh, single page application for sign in this email and for uh, sign up also we want email uh, for callback URL let's uh, enter localhost so localhost 575173 and uh, create here it's giving us some code before that, let's go and create a React application. So I will use Vite to create it. And uh, we need React JavaScript application. Let's start the installation. Till that, uh, here Cognito is asking us to install these two libraries uh, ODIC Client TS and uh, React ODIC Context. So, ODIC Client TS is the actual library which is going to do all work of uh, creating URL and uh, exchange of token with uh, authorization code. Uh, React OIDC Context uh, is just a wrapper on top of uh, this library to uh, make it easier to use with uh, react applications and uh, it provides uh, context like this uh, it uses context api to provide context and uh, in application we can uh, use it and it will provide context if it's uh, if application is uh, uh, authenticated or not so let's install these two dependencies also and uh, regarding the workflow which we are going to follow is this one uh, pixie with uh, authorization code workflow and uh, this library will handle all this uh, pixie creation and state parameter creation that uh, we will see soon let's uh, update our code so i will copy paste these configurations in our main.js uh, it might be index.js also but for uh, wheat it's main.js x and uh, i guess i root so configurations are pasted we imported the provider and let's use it now in uh, app.js i will use uh, I will wipe out default code and use cognito code as it is here also we have to update some minor things so log out URL we have to update uh, let's keep it uh, same I will keep same as uh, callback URL and uh, whatever value we put here we need to update in uh, code also yeah, update in uh, Cognito also so we have copied all the code provided by Cognito let's go to overview and client section this is the client which got created with uh, user pool uh, let's go to login and under login page setting we need to add that uh, domain as sign out at URL also similar to sign in or, or callback URL another thing we want is uh, Cognito domain name so this is a domain name we need to provide it here and apart from that rest all is already configured let's uh, start our application so it's started at 5173 port let's, let's open and inspect it looks like there is some error react dom is not defined okay looks like in main.js create root okay we have imported it as react create root and uh, some minor the way we are imported that, importing that's different now it will work yeah now it's loading so if i see the code uh 
to go through it once again uh, in main.jsx we are having all configuration we are passing all this configuration to uh, react odic context and all this configuration will at the end go to this library which is uh, uh, odic client ts and it will handle everything in the background after that in app.jsx we have imported the we have used this context and this auth context will provide uh, if app is in loading stage if there is error if uh, authenticated then we will show id and access token and uh, if uh, it's not authenticated then we will show sign in and sign out button and on click of sign in it will call auth.signin redirect function which will uh, create url uh, and uh, create state and pixie parameters and uh, start the uh, authentication process with uh, cognitive hosted ui so let's see it in action uh, here we have a sign in button i will click on it and uh, before that let's quickly recall the flow what was flow with authorization code grant and pixie so flow is that before even starting the authentication process, we generate two things, state parameter and pixie parameter. Pixie is made up of two things, verifier and uh, hash of verifier is called challenge. So during uh, authentication, um, we pass uh, state and uh, uh, this uh, challenge to authorization page of Cognito. After that, uh, during uh, uh, when authorization code is returned to callback url we verify state and when we call token endpoint then token endpoint verifies uh, code verifier or pixie value so let's see it here when i will click on it uh, sign in button it will uh, create these values and uh, here in the url we can see we have code challenge and uh, we should also have here state uh, if i go here in app client and uh, if i try to open this ui directly we will not see this value so that's something which is done by uh, that library and uh, now you might be wondering uh, we passed code challenge and uh, code uh, uh, challenge and state parameter here but what about uh, code verifier parameter because we created in that context and now we are inside this cognito page so complete redirection happened uh, so there is no chance that uh, it will survive so what happens is that uh, before just before redirection uh, that library stores code verifier as part of uh, local storage so here we can see it's stored and uh, uh, after sign in when it will go back to a uh, callback page uh, while doing that token call this code verifier will be used so right now since this is new user pool there is no account let's create it i will open gmail and uh, enter password and sign up now i need otp so it's here and uh, we are logged in so if i see network call here uh, this callback uh, uh, url loaded with code and state parameter and uh, then uh, after whole client is loaded uh, it made this token call and uh, in this token call uh, it used code verifier from local state and uh, client id obviously we have configured code is also part of uh, url parameter so uh, these values were sent to token endpoint of uh, cognito and as a response we got id access and refresh token and uh, here also we are showing the value now uh, where it is stories if i go to stories in chrome it will be application and then uh, session storage and uh, here it's in firefox it's uh, storage and uh, session storage so it's same thing just uh, uh, different ui for different browsers so here if we see in local storage first let's see that uh, code verifier thing is removed and in session storage new data is created which contains access token refresh token and uh, id token now uh, what else this library handles is that uh, we know that uh, access token and id token have uh, uh, 
a small amount of uh, validity period as compared to refresh token so what this library will do it will uh, as soon as uh, this access token expiry is over it will use this uh, refresh token to get new pair of uh, access and id token but the refresh token will be same and uh, it, we will keep using same difference token till this expiry and once uh, it's expired then user need to log in again so that's the flow with uh, uh, single page application and uh, it's not necessary to use only uh, these two libraries i'm using because uh, the cognito example uh, so the gave us these two libraries uh, we can implement uh, this flow by our own or if there is some other library available that also can be used but uh, with all libraries flow will be almost same